Is it better to bank black? Absolutely. It's taken a long time for people to really catch it, but that's the key. Banking black gives black people something to be proud of. And that's why it's important for us to support our black bank institutions, not only here in Atlanta, but across the nation, because black people need something that they can own, that they can hold on to, that they can be proud of. I believe that it is important to bank black because it allows black people the opportunity to get loans. Maybe a small business loan. Then you can take that business, put it in your community, make money, put the money back in the bank, now you're giving another opportunity for somebody that needs a business, you know what I'm saying? And then you generate this money, and that's how we create black wealth. Outside of you getting loans from a bank, you need a bank to process your transactions. You need a bank to make deposits. You can't just keep um, money in your safe or under your mattress or what have you, right? So just the primary fundamentals of life and business, you need a bank to make those things happen. We know statistically that black banks are more likely to issue out loans, uh, offer mortgages, offer financial products and tools to black people in the black community at a faster rate than other banks are. And when you realize that, and you realize that your dollar has the potential to do more good in this community. I was listening to one um, CEO of a bank yesterday on a talk, and um, he was actually saying that um, he was giving some of the statistics out in terms of what they do in the community and how they're strategically in the community to uh, affect change in these specific ways in the black community. It's a part of their agenda and policy of what they do. I think that we need to go deeper into that because in order for us to get loans from these black banks, we one need to say, you know what, we're going to invest in this bank, but we also need some things from you, which are more loans, which are, more, you know, and really holding these banks accountable because now that there's been this bank black statement, bank black banks are starting to say what they will do for the community. As black people, we need to reconnect our black values and our black dollars. And by banking with black banks, what happens is you put your money and invest in an institution that stands up and speak for you. When you think about every other major bank out there, they pray for Paris, they pray for Orlando, mm -hmm. they stood up for every other issue. But I have never seen one of these banks stand up for Mike Brown, Samir Rice, uh, the Charles the Nine. These banks who make a living off of our dollars have not stood up for our values. So why do you bank black? Because you invest in institutions who invest in you. Without economic power, there is no other basis for power. We cannot restore black communities. We cannot have a place on the political platform. So it's very important that we recycle our dollar back in the black community. Right now, it leaves in 28 seconds. We go through black neighborhoods and we realize most of the owners of the businesses there do not reflect us, and nor do they live there. So the money is never recycled back in our communities. So once we do that, we break that cycle of the money leaving black communities, we can restore the, pre the, and the greatness of black America. By doing so, we then restore black communities, and there's one avenue that allows us to do that, and that's Spendify. Currently in America, there are only two million black-owned businesses in our country. That's not a lot when you think about it. But out of those two million businesses, eight out of 10 of them are scheduled to fail within the first 18 months of launching. And we want to do something about it. So we feel like, you know, we got 350 million Americans in this country, just in the African-American community alone, um, we only spend 2% of our money with black businesses. So we want to create a tool that made it easy for people to discover them, shop with them, and share. So that's what Spinify is doing. Like Kanye said in his song, wait till I get my money right. And I think that's the key thing with black folks. It's time for us to get our money right. What we have to do is really bring our economics together and get our money up, because when we get our money right, people start listening. That's one of the sad things to say. I know we hope people listen to God, people hear this, but now people hear dollars. And people hear sense. And we come in there and show, hey, so okay, either I can cut a check or I can make sure that you we can pull some money from you, people will start listening.